within just the last hour, opponents of the planned Atlanta Public Safety Training Center delivering these boxes filled with signatures. This is in an effort to stop what they call Cop City. Thanks for being with us. I'm Joy Lim Nackerin. And I'm Rick Fulbaum, and it's box after box after box. Let's get right out to Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm at City Hall. So, Rebecca, they're trying to force a ballot question in the next election so that voters can decide on that training center. That is the idea, Rick and Joy. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, here in the city of Atlanta, you have to have 58,000 signatures to force a referendum. Well, the group that's inside Atlanta City Hall right now claims to have double that. Stop Cop City! Stop Cop City! This movement is broad and it is deep and it is activating people who have not been political before in their life because it is about a vision for what kind of city yes. we want to live in. Yeah. Calling themselves the Vote to Stop Cop City Coalition, this group gathered at Atlanta City Hall to showcase the boxes, which they say are filled with 116,000 signatures, twice the number needed to force a question on the ballot as to whether the city should move forward with its plan to build a world class public safety training center on the site of the old Atlanta prison farm. Some who collected the signatures said they were pleased that so many people signed the petition. I even had at least two dozen pro cop city people sign because they felt like they wanted it to be a democratic decision. The group then formed a human chain passing each box up the stairs of City Hall and into the clerk's office. The city now has 50 days to verify that each signature corresponds with a registered Atlanta voter. Their response has been to try to put us down, but this movement will not be put down. And I tell you, training center opponents are still inside City Hall. There's been a lot of legal wrangling over this effort. And right now, both sides are trying to interpret a recent judge's ruling as to a timeline for signature verification. So we will let you know as soon as we learn what the next steps are. Live at City Hall in downtown Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.